In the last video, I showed you how to link up CSS to your index page using the link tag. There's actually two other ways that you can put CSS onto your index.html page or any other HTML page. And I'm going to show you how to go about doing it and why you really shouldn't do it that way. Uh, so let's start with just grabbing the first sites folder. We're going to drag it into Sublime Text 3. Open both of these up. And we're also just going to open up the file in Chrome. There we go. So that's what we had last time, just hello world in red. Now, as you recall, we created an H1 tag and we linked main.css to our index.html here. When we click in here, you can see that we edited the H1 tag and changed all H1 tags so that their color is now red. So what are these other two methods? Well, there's two methods. The first one is to create style tags inside of your head tags. We'll just do opening and closing style tags. And then what well, we need a second element. So let's create an H2 element. We'll just write heading to close that. H2 opening and closing. And this time we'll change it to color blue. And we'll save that. When we refresh the page, heading 2 pops up, but it's not the default black, it is blue. So that's another way of going about doing it. The third way to go about doing it, heading three, you can actually write it right here inside of your tag as an attribute. We do style equals color green. All right, we'll save that. We'll go back and we'll refresh. All right, so there are two big problems with these methods. Starting with a style method. Most CSS style sheets are thousands of lines of CSS. It could just be hundreds, but even if it's just hundreds, that's a lot of scrolling you would have to do. So your style would just keep going all the way down and all the way down, like we're already only not even at 100 yet. So you'd have to scroll all the way down just to get to your HTML. So that's not a good way of going about doing it. It would be kind of messy. The other way that's really, really messy is to do inline styling. People traditionally used to do this, and there's a good chance you're going to run into this on the job as well, where you're going to see people have done inline styling or even using these style tags in the head, so you got to be aware of it. When you do inline styling like this, and you have, again, thousands of lines of code with hundreds of different rules for every element, it becomes very, very difficult to start, uh, to start reading your HTML. So you definitely do not want to do it this way. Furthermore, doing inline styling actually cannot be overwritten inside of an alternate CSS sheet. So let's quickly go in here and do h2 color black. Let's just change it back. h3 color black. Save it. And we'll save this. As you can see, I refreshed it and nothing happened. So it's not a great way of going about adding CSS. Now, alternatively, what I just did with, um, with the CSS here actually is if I move the style tags above the link, this one takes priority. The reason it takes priority is because it's CSS or cascading style sheets, meaning the last rule that comes in at the end of the style sheet actually takes precedence and takes priority. So we have color blue here, but it was called earlier and then later on we change it to color black right here. So it takes priority and is the one that is used. So keep that in mind. Best practice here, do everything in main.css. Keep it completely separate. This kind of stuff looks really ugly, is really hard to read. Your manager and boss are not gonna like it. And when you have another developer come in and look at your code, it's gonna be very, very difficult for them to go through and figure out exactly what you did and, and to edit your code as well. 